All right, everybody, Star Wars time. Rogue One's coming out, and I want to talk about some of what makes Star Wars so beloved. I can't fit everything in one video, so for starters, let's look at movie endings and how they relate to A New Hope, and how well it fits with the principles of what makes any movie ending good. Okay, I found five things. First is what I call resynchronization. We enter stories in our real world emotional state. This is usually quiet and mundane, and we get to higher states only in a step by step way. Too much too soon, and it's uncomfortable. So, a good ending usually returns us safely to that low emotional state, letting us feel comfortable walking out. This is why songs often get more quiet and repetitive as they finish. Along with that is what I call unhooking. Our mental involvement in stories is tied to uncertainty, so a good ending actually removes this uncertainty, giving us a sense of safety or predictability going forward. This is why so many fairy tales end with people living happily ever after. And we can see both of these with the medal ceremony. We can see that Princess Leia is restored to power and our rebel heroes receive marks of honor, giving the indication that everything is now as it should be. That's the unhook. And it's a sequence with simple actions, low danger and certainty, preparing us to go back out into the normal world. After that, there's a trick that we might call depriming. There are certain things we associate with things stopping, like saying goodbye, walking away, and so on. When we hear those, our brains naturally stop paying attention, which is why riding off into the sunset is a classic ending in westerns. In this case, the last shot of A New Hope is the final part of the medal ceremony, where the awards are done and they turn around to the applause of the crowd. We associate that applause with the end of a performance, and so our brain naturally disconnects. Now. Let's go back a bit and talk about resolution. This is really an unappreciated art. You see, a good ending isn't just about the hero's winning. It's about relieving every source of tension that the audience feels. Whether the hero will succeed is one, but there's others. For example, Han Solo. He spends the movie on the edge of heroism and villainy, and we want him to become good for the world to prove that it doesn't have to be so cynical. That type of thing actually weighs on our brains, even if we don't realize it. So, one of the key points of the final fight is when the Millennium Falcon returns to help the rebels, where we see that Han has become good. He helps out when he could have run away, so that bit of worry we had is relieved. Great movies handle all these loose ends for us, unless of course they're planning a sequel. On top of that, Han's turn to good is handled properly. It causes him to come back and changes the course of the battle. So we pick up that causing idea subconsciously, emotionally. Whereas if someone had just said, Han, you're a good guy after all, out loud, it would be phony and less effective. Now, there's one more technique that's not used in A New Hope that we'll talk about later. But overall, this is just one example of how good the original Star Wars movies were and why Rogue One has such an uphill battle to live up to them. So stay tuned for more and I've got some big announcements coming up too. Thanks.